We should go to the instruments called RAM. It's a 3D printing machine. And uh, since we are in the process of moving to aluminum powder, some of the components might not be there. I'll try to cover as much as possible. So this is basically the uh, powder feed system and the laser system. So I'll basically first explain the laser. This is a 400 watt Litron laser, high power laser uh, that we are using. Ah, Litron, that's the company name. Brand yeah, name. Uh, fiber, fiber laser. And um, yeah. And uh, this is where the powder feed unit is available. So if you can see in that uh, vacuum conveyor, you have you can see the silos that are uh, pressing down. So once we are uh, uh, done with filling the silo with powder, mm -hmm. we mount it over here. And with the help of control valves, we collect it over this hopper. And we have a screw feeder over here. So the screw feeder continuously rotates and feeds the powder to a unit called recoater inside this. So this chamber is called as process chamber, into which your actual 3D printing operation is happening. So this is basically our uh, what it look like this basically. And uh, once the powder is fed through into this process chamber, this recoated unit will move towards that and it will fill it and it will go to this end, purge the powder and create a powder bit. Right. So this uh, selective laser melting you might have already heard about that uh, process pretty much. It's a layer based selective manufacturing process wherein once the uh, one layer of powder bit is created, laser will selectively melt and solidify it. It's a twin laser process wherein two lasers can simultaneously, in this end, the right hand side blade will push and create a bed over here and when it is opted for a dual recoating, the left hand side blade will push towards this end. So in that way, we can continuously operate. Uh, one push laser, second push laser like that. So the time can be saved to a great extent and your laser is also operating. So we can uh, print high volume and uh, you know high complexity parts in a very very small time. And uh, this is called your uh, build chamber. Well, it is ideally 80 degree Celsius. For right time it might be going around 100 degree Celsius or something like that. So that uh, pre-eating arrangements and all the things will be supplied over here and then uh, build a plate will be installed and then the process can be started. So ideally 